everyone welcome to day 11 of my 100 days challenge today we will be solving sql question asked in flipkart data analyst interview so let's see the question so the question says write a query to find the top three product with the highest sales volume volume means total quantity sold for each quarter of 2023 now we have two tables one is the product table which has the product id product name category and the price and we have sales table which is a sales id product id and the customer's id sale date quantity and the amount we do not have any quarter column by the way so what you need to find out is basically the top three product in each quarter of 2023 which has the highest volume in sales so let's solve these questions today now you can see i have already created the table and inserted this data to solve this question so first table i have which is the product table now that has the product information let me run and show you the product that we have for today now you can see this is the product table so this has all the product information we have 10 products product name category and the price we have the sales table which has the sales information like sales id product id customers id the sale date quantity and the amount we do have something called product id but we do not have the product name so what we need to find out based on each quarter the product that has the highest quantity sale which is the top three products so let's write down our approach here what we will follow so first of all we will need to do a join between this product and the sales table because we will need some column from this sales and some column from the product table so first i need on the product id product id i need and uh, i need this uh, sale date so sale date what i need and uh, other than that i need this quantity which is this one quantity quantity column so all these columns i will be getting from this sales table and uh, i will need the product name which i will be getting from product table based on this product id so that i will be getting from the products table so these are the uh, things that we need and then we will need to see the quarterly and their quantity sale so we will create a quarter column based on this sale date column here today we will use xtech functions so we will create a quarter quarter column using this sale date because we want to see each quarter and each product and their total quantity sale and then we will select the top three product by doing some order by with the total quantity sale and then we will select the top three product from each quarter so we will need to do a group by we will need to do a group by group by by each product and do a sum on this quantity so that is going to give us the total quantity sale in each product and we will need to also do a group by by quarter so first we will do a group by by quarter which is going to give us each quarter and inside each quarter we will see each product and their total quantity sale so first i will do a group by by the quarter then i will do a group by by each product or product id and then we will see some of the total sale after all this i will need to select the top three product in each group which is in each quarter so i will need to use a window functions here so i will be using a window functions called dense rank because using dense rank i will be able to select the top three product with the highest total quantity sale now there could be four product there could be five product so that is the reason we are using dense rank to select the top three different uh, quantity so we will be using dense rank and we will also need to do a partition partition by the product id or quantity any of the column which is going to work fine then we will select everything based on this dense rank less than equals to two so select everything from this table select everything where based on d rank which is less than equals to two or less than equals to three because we need everything where this dense rank equals three so so this is going to be greater than we will need less than less than equals to three so let's start writing query to solve this question so i will first start with the join so i'm going to say select everything from and uh, i will do a join both the table has the same column which is product id so i'm going to do an inner join because i need each and every product information from both the table based on this product id so i'm assuming that yes the product id must exist in the product table as well and in the sales table as well so i'm going to select select everything from product table and i'm going to say join sales s s and product s p so i'm just giving some alias here and i would say on s dot you see already it's coming which is s dot product id 
which is product id from this uh, sales table and uh, product id from the product table based on this i am doing the join now i will be selecting only specific columns for uh, today so first i need the columns which is going to be after this join i need the product id so i'm going to force select the product id from any of the table so i would say sales table of product id i will also need sales table of product name so product name will come from the product table so i would say product name and uh, i would need the sales date first so i'm going to select the sales date here so sales date will come from the sale table which is this one so this is going to be fine then we just need the quantity column so quantity will come in the sales from the sales table so sales of quantity okay so let me just show you how this result look like after doing this join now let's do a join and uh, we uh, have the data now we have the data only for 2023 if in case i have the data for some other years as well i can use a filter to select the data for 2023 now just to ensure that if in case there could be a data for other years as well so i am going to use a filter here just to ensure that if there's any new data comes so this filter is going to ensure that this query only select the data for 2023 so i can go ahead and say here where extract year from this sale date oops equals 2023 so this extract function is going to extract the year from this sale date and i'm going to compare it with 2023 so if the year is 2023 is going to select those data see we are having 15 records let's see how many records this get select now see we are having all the 2023 sales which is 15 records totally so this is going to work fine now if in case you want to know how this extract function works i can simply show you so i can simply go ahead and say select everything from this table which is a sales and i can use the extract functions here extract here from sale date now from this sale date you can see i'm going to extract everything i can also use sale date here so i'm expecting two columns one is sale date and one is the year which is going to be created from this sale date using this extract functions so let's just go ahead and run this query just to show you that how this is going to look like you now you see this is the actual column which is a sale date now from the sale date i'm creating this year column based on this extract functions that i have given you see 2023 2023 2023 2023 now if it is 2022 i will have 2022 now i can simply compare by this column right i can see where this year is equals to 2023 so that is how i am selecting 2023 data so let's go ahead and now proceed further with this query so i have the data whatever the columns i need i have everything now now what i just need to do is i need to create a quarter column because i want to see this product quantity product sale based on each quarter so to create a quarter again you can use the same function which is called extract so i can just show, show you again so i would say extract trsct extract this time i would say instead of year i would say quarter from sale date so i'm going to save it as quarter okay short form now i'll just give a comma here now let's just show you again you will see a new quarter column has created here quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four so this all the quarter we have which is for 2023 now we want to see each quarter and inside each quarter each product sale based on total quantity so how many quantity were sold for each quarter for each product so i will force you to do a group buy by this quarter and then i will do a group by by this product id and product name so that i can do a sum on this quantity to get what is the total quantity sold for each product so i will go ahead and say i don't need this here i don't need this sale date column for now i only need this column so first group by i will do by this because based on each quarter i want to see this result now in inside each quarter i will do another group by by the product id and product name so that i can do a sum on this quantity so i'm going to say here group by and i can say group by by this column which is on this column and i can just use the alias called one one represent the first column of the select and from statement then i will do a group by by these two columns which is group by two and three okay now almost done so now let's go ahead and do a sum here because i want to see the total quantity sold for each group which is group is going to be quarter and inside the quarter all the products 
I will save it as total quantity sold. So let's run this query and see our output today. Now you see we have for quarter for each quarter we have the product that were there in each quarter and their total sale in quantity. So quarter one so product ID one two and three you see the product name which is laptop smartphone headphone and their quantity sale one quantity for laptop. For smartphone it's two quantity and for headphone it's three quantity similarly in quarter four in quarter two you can see the results here is basically this one here and uh, this one here right so you can see each quarter and uh, so most of the you know all the possible group and their quantity sold now in four quarter we have uh, so many product and uh, we can see the result here as well so you can see in the fourth quarter we have laptop which is one quantity sold we have smartphone one quantity sold we have headphone which is three quantity sold so what we are looking for is in each quarter the top three product based on this highest quantity sold so i can do a order buy by this quantity sold to show you what exactly i'm looking for so i'm going to say order buy so first let me do a order buy by this quarter so order buy by this qtr that's my first column and uh, i will do a order buy by this total quantity sold that is in descending so order buy by when you do to uh, order by you can write it this way so order by this is by first column so it's going to first do order by by the quarter so it will remain like whatever we have in ascending orders you can see i'm not defining anything so it's by default it's going to be in ascending orders then it is doing going to do one more order by by this total quantity sale which is inside first order by now that's going to do a order by this three first then two then one so highest to lowest number so let's run it and let's see now you can see we do have the quarter name and inside the quarter name now this data is being ordered by this total quantity so the highest quantity is coming first and uh, that is showing the total quantity sold for this quarter was three which is headphone category and second one is product which is smartphone and that the quantity sold is the second highest which is two and the laptop which is third highest now what i want to show you in the quarter two you can see this t-shirt showing five quantity sold highest this product has got highest quantity sold and uh, this one second highest this one third highest okay so what i want to show you the fourth quarter you see in the fourth quarter we have so many product so first this is headphone which is three quantity sold and then second we have this smartphone which is two quantity sold and uh, we have microphone microwave which is again two quantity sold and we have laptop which is one quantity sold so what we need in each quarter the top three product based on this total quantity sold so i need three product this uh, three product from this and i need uh, three product from here as well and i need uh, three product from here based on this number okay so what i need in each quarter top three product based on this quantity sale now i can use a window functions called dense rank to select the product because i will need to select in each group there could be multiple product in each quarter there could be multiple product based on this a uh, total quantity so i want to see the top three based on this total quantity sold so I can go ahead and here I can say here I can create a window functions called dense rank that's going to create a new column and it's going to give some ranking inside each quarter based on the this quantity sale. So highest quantity sale will get rank one, second highest will get rank two, third highest will get a rank three. So I'm going to say DENS dense rank. Now this dense rank is part of window functions which is used to create a new window and uh, you can do also ordering and a partition inside this dense rank so i want to do dense rank and then i'm going to do a over by this total quantity sold now i am going to use this column because i cannot use alias here so i would call the sale and i would say here order by order by total quantity sale in descending dsc so this is i'm going to name it call d rank so without doing partition i'm going to show you how it is going to look like so if i don't do any partitioning now you will see it's going to simply order the data based on this total quantity sale the highest quantity sale is going to get the rank one then second highest is going to get rank two and so on so on it's not going to do any ordering based on quarter product id product name simply based on this number it's going to do this ranking without doing any partitions so let's run this query now even i don't need this ordering at the moment so if i run it you will see it here now you see this rank one has given to the highest quantity sold which is five and that is from t-shirt quarter two similarly the second one is jeans which is from 
quarter three and the product ID seven jeans and the three quantity sold. Now this is the normal ranking that we're getting from one to the last ranking, which is four. Now I want to see each quarter and the new ranking based on the highest to lowest quantity sold, which is inside each quarter. So I'm going to add a partition here, partition by this quarter. So I'm going to use this column because I cannot again use alias here. So I'm going to say partition by this quarter. So this is going to do a partition. So each quarter is going to be one partition for this dense rank. And then inside each partition, it is going to do a ordering by this total quantity sold. And then it's going to give the rankings. So highest quantity sold is going to get a rank one, then rank two, rank three, so on, so on inside each quarter. So this is what I'm looking for. Now let me run it and let me show you how this answer is going to look like. We don't need this ordering. So I'm just going to comment it out now. Now you can see we have the result. So quarter one, we have again, this three product, you can see the product that is getting a rank one, that is that highest quantity sold, which is three, second highest getting rank two, third highest getting rank three. Now we only have three product. Unfortunately, that's the reason we are getting all the product because we will do a filter by rank one, two and three. Now you can see in the quarter two, we have t-shirt has the highest quantity sold that is getting rank one and the second, which is microwave that is getting second highest quantity sold, which is two quantity in this quarter that's getting rank two. And now refrigerator has uh, the third highest quantity sold, which is only one quantity getting rank three. Now what I want to show you is the quarter four, because in quarter four, you can see there are so many product. So first product, which is headphone that is getting rank one, because that has the highest quantity sold in this quarter, which is three. And second, we have a smartphone that is getting rank two because that has the highest quantity sold, which is two. Now something you will see, which is microwave. So that is also getting a rank two. The reason that product is also having same quantity sold, which is the smartphone. So they both having the same quantity sale, right? That's the reason they are getting rank two. And the last three product, which is the laptop, refrigerator and shoes, they are getting quantity one on uh, sale because of that they're getting rank three. If I just filter now saying that select everything from this table where this rank is less than equal to three. So I will have all the product. This is the reason I'm using dance rank to ensure that I select the top three product based on this quantity sale from each quarter. Now, if there is a possibility that there are two product have the same number of quantity sale, so they both should get the same number of ranking. Now, if I use a row number that is going to only select from this quarter, that's only going to select the first three product. Again, it's going to select the first three product from here and so on, so on. Even if I use a dense rank instead of dense rank, if I use a rank, it's going to select only the first product that's going to get a rank one. And then it's going to select this two product, which is going to going to get rank two. And this product is directly going to get a rank four. So it's not going to select that. So this is the reason I have used dense rank. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve it. Now I can go ahead and use a sub query here. I can see select everything or I can select a specific column. So I want to select quarter and I want to select this product ID, product ID, and I want to select product name, and I can select this total quantity sold. Now, all these things I'm getting from a table called subquery, which is going to be this table because I'm going to put this table in the parenthesis. So I'm going to say, and I will use it where conditions here. So where D rank less than equals to three. So this is how I will be selecting all the product and their total quantity sale from each quarter that has a rank, which is less than equal to three. Now you can see we have this one, which is quarter one. We have three products and their total quantity sale. And in the quarter two, we have again three product quarter three. We have three product, but in the quarter four, we are getting three, six product because they are falling in the top three rank by this quantity sale. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. And if you want to practice the same question, I have added this data set in the video descriptions. You can download this data set from my GitHub and you can copy paste into your PG admin four and you can solve the same question. And if you really like my content and enjoy solving this type of problem, do subscribe to my channel, like the video, have a good day. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.